purpose of this video is to demonstrate the proper receiving and delivery procedures for spars and seafood restaurants. It is always important to develop strong relationships with distribution representatives as well as delivery personnel. The individual receiving the product should greet the delivery personnel as they arrive at the facility. Good morning, sir. Dawn's delivery. Dawn's particular Tuesday and Friday delivery line. Thank you very much. The best way to receive deliveries is as a team of two. This will increase efficiency, accuracy, and minimize errors. All deliveries should be scheduled at times when it is least disruptive to regular business, so that the products being received can be checked in by a member of management or a designated employee. Remember that when lifting objects, it is always important to lift with your legs and not your back. This will reduce the chance of injuries. Deliveries should always be stored in this sequence. Frozen foods, cold foods, produce, and then dry goods. All refrigerated or frozen items should be immediately checked in and stored away to ensure that the products remain within acceptable temperature range. When storing items in their designated labeled areas, it is important to use a rotation method. This means that the older product or product that should be used first is the first to be pulled. It is important to train all employees to follow the designated pulling method. In this case, the oldest product will be in the front right of the area and the newest will be in the back left. The receiving and storage of cold or frozen products should be done as quickly and accurately as possible as to maintain an acceptable temperature in the cold storage unit. By minimizing the amount of time the doors to freezers and coolers are open will help to control this. The rotation method applies for all items, not only refrigerated products. All products should be stored in a minimum of 6 inches off the floor. Another policy that should be followed is that all products should be inspected for damage or spoilage upon receipt. This applies especially for perishable goods. As you can see, this bell pepper is obviously molded and could have contaminated the rest of the product in this container. It is a good rule of thumb to always check the products at the bottom of any container because typically those are the items damaged or spoiled due to improper handling procedures. When damaged or spoiled items are discovered, receiving personnel should notify a manager. If possible, a photo of the product should be taken for evidence to be sent to the distribution representative. Next, the damaged or spoiled items should be returned to the delivery personnel or returned to the warehouse. The notation of this return should be made on the invoice. By taking these steps, it will help to ensure the proper credits will be applied to your account and that the product will be replaced as quickly as possible. Once all products are checked in, the manager should sign, notate the date and time of delivery on the designated area of each page of the invoice. One copy of the invoice should be kept for your records and the remaining copy should be returned to the delivery personnel. If there are any unusual products delivered that would not normally be used by the company, contact the distribution representative for explanation before returning these products. It could be for a special order or another division of the company, such as catering. By following these simple steps, you will help to control inventory levels, waste, and food costs, as well as ensure that your guests receive the highest quality products in which you pride yourself in providing.